Okay, well this is... This is my mom's 1969 Olympic. Get the cover off of it. Okay, first we gotta get the cover off. We got wing nuts. Do all the okay. That part metal's a little cold. Okay, you gotta pull the dipstick out to get to. to work with the gloves on but metal's so cold. This is a 320 Rotec 1969 engine is not sure exactly why it stopped Didn't sound like a carburetor problem. So we're gonna pull the engine. It's been a while since I had this one apart. It's been running. It's been running pretty good, so. brand new belt on it. That was one of the issues that this one was having was the drive belt was too poor and it wasn't this one and my 67 the drive belts were too worn and they weren't wasn't able to engage when it needed to. Belt cover. Okay now I'm gonna get a socket so we can get this pulled off. Nine sixteenths. We could find a nine sixteenths for a bigger nine sixteenths. There we go. Yeah, I want to be able to use a longer wrench to get more torque. Wow. 
sometimes you move it tight in the direction and then go back the Oh. Okay, let's uh I do have some a little bit tight, but nothing you can't fix with a little more leverage. <laughs> yep, there you go. Well it fails, grab a longer pipe. Yep, see it's too tight to buy hand. Feels like it would be getting loose and then I tried to get my hand. It won't come. There we go. Okay, let's uh I'll get it pulled off and thrown up on the workbench. Let's pull the carburetor off. So you gotta both come off about the exact same time. Because with this piece here, it locks them together. Okay. I like to throw the hardware back onto them so we don't misplace anything. I have a ton of spare stuff, so it wouldn't be too hard to find something to replace, but if we don't have to, I'd rather not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull the recoil off. One did not want to. This last, not this does not want to come out. And then being a tight spot, it's right underneath, tight up against the side there, and try to get the socket in there. Just and that works. So what I did is I took a screwdriver and popped it on the side, broke it free. Before it got too stripped out. And here's the. Okay, now we gotta get the cap off. Good. Keep the plug in there so we have some back pressure. Jerk it if you got, try to get it to start coming off. See the inner workings of it now. Two weeks of 
on the inside there that caused all the problems. Thinking of, I am thinking timing problem. Because it that's what started it started sound like it was misfiring and everything else, so that's what my thought is. Pull the, I gotta pull the exhaust pipe off and I gotta pull the this off. So I will go to the next step and be back with you. pretty loose but it's not loose enough for the This one feels like the whole bolt's coming out. Yep. That super match came out. And we got one more bolt down here. Off. This one's had a few patches over over the years. Since it doesn't vibrate, got the gasket there. I'm gonna take and put these things back on. Yeah, and then there's this. That's really loose too. Pretty much had all of these engines taken completely apart at some point or another and rebuilt. Oh, I don't need to take it all the way off. I just needed to get to so I could get the get the wires off and over to the side. Yeah, we got couple there that need to come off. This way we don't have to take these off because screws, I, whoever put screws on these things, they 
not my favorite piece. <laughs> they screws they strip out so easy compared to a, a nut and bolt. I've got a rubber mallet here somewhere. Wherever that somewhere is. Always a nice thing when you find what you're looking for. Does this go all the way through? No. Okay, well, it's coming. There it is. That's my battery is just about dead on the on the camera, so a pretty good spot to let off for this episode. Next, we'll be starting to pull some more of this stuff off, so we can get into the inner workings a little bit more. Make sure it's all cleaned up, clean some stuff up, check the check some stuff out in the engine, see what we can figure out what's going on with it well thank you so much for watching i do really appreciate it hope you have a great rest of your day and i will talk to you in the comments don't forget to subscribe well thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.